What's up guys, Questlow here, and today we are back for another Unreal Engine tutorial. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your graphics card, or the player's graphics card more accurately, uh, to show up on the screen, get the, the name of it, and maybe even the CPU name, and to be able to maybe display the data on the screen, or you know, there may be a variety of reasons why you might want to get the the player's graphics card or processor maybe to check for you know for diagnostic data or maybe you know i don't know for um to you know if you're using uh, ray tracing you might want to check what kind of card they have and to see that it is uh compatible or you know whatever your reasons may be um there might be a variety of reasons why you might want to get this uh get the graphics card or the the processor of the player system so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first things first, um, I am going to make a widget because we want to display that uh, that data somewhere. So uh, we're going to make a widget. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to create a widget uh, down at the user interface. And we're going to just create a widget. We're going to call it get uh, user graphics. Uh, device and we are going to open it up and we are going to save it and then we are going to grab uh, a vertical box and two horizontal boxes just to keep things organized so that's what we're going to do we're going to call this one gpu uh, we're going to call this display gpu and we're going to call this display CP. And we're going to grab some normal text. Uh, if you have your own text that is uh, specifically for your project, um, you're going to want to use that. Or if you don't and you're just learning Unreal Engine, then uh, just use the normal text that is available here. So we're going to grab that. We're going to throw two of them in there and we're going to throw two down here. One is going to be modified using blueprints, and the other one is just going to be staying the same. So we're going to just call this one primary GPU with a colon, and we're going to call this uh, this one down here. We're going to just make the text CPU, and we're going to compile that and save it. And then we're going to go over to our first text block here, and we are going to bind it, and we're going to create a binding. We're gonna call this um, get GPU uh, name, or get GPU or display GPU text. We'll call it display GPU text because we are changing the text. We want to give it a, a meaningful name. So we're gonna extend this out, and you're gonna quickly realize that you actually can't get the GPU name or the CPU or whatever from blueprinting, and you're probably sitting there wondering, well, wait a minute, you said you're going to show us how to do this and it's not in the blueprint. How, how are we supposed to get it? Well, um, we are going to make a blueprint node that will allow us to display the, the GPU. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and the CPU name. So this is going to require a tiny bit of C++, but I honestly think that this is a, this is a decent beginner tutorial. And I don't think the C++ is very complicated. So I think any of you guys should be, uh, no matter your experience with C++ or not, uh, or coding in general, I think you all should be able to follow along just fine, especially if you are needing this. Uh, obviously, you came to this video to get that information. Uh, you also could just go to the Unreal Engine forums, but I think this is probably a bit easier for you to follow along with. So I already created a C++ class because I uh, already recorded the video and then I realized my air conditioner was on and it was making a lot of noise. So I'm re-recording this now. But to create a C++ class, you want to go up here, click new C++ class, and um, I'm going to just show you what you want to click under. Uh, you could really put this in any kind of C++ class, but I put it into a blueprint function library and you could put more blueprint functions in there if you want. Um, I figure that this was probably the place to go. I click next and then I called it something and uh, this is what we ended up with uh, right here. So once you done do that and you make a name for it and stuff, uh, you'll have this extra folder here that is called C++ classes and you'll have your project in there and you'll be able to open this up and it will open up Visual Studio. Um, this is going to require some bit of uh, Visual Studio uh, knowledge so uh, this isn't really that big of a deal. 
um, you'll have this nice little copyright of Bill Gates. You can remove this. I don't know why that's there on default, but it's kind of funny. Um, so this is the C++ file, but really where we're going to start is we're going to start in um, in the header file, right? We're going to control S this to save this real quick. I don't want any comments at the top here. Um, I just want some basic stuff here. So we'll control S this. And then you, this is where we're going to start. So first things first, we're going to want to get uh, the library itself. So we want to get this uh th these are included files and i wouldn't worry about these because these are um this uh, you're gonna get some weird squiggly text uh visual studio does some weird things with this um i don't know why it does it's really not that big of a deal but yeah you're gonna want to hit enter and you want to go hashtag include quotation and you want to get generic no space platform slash generic platform misc dot h and that is the file that we're going to be pulling from to get the name of the primary gpu and the processor of the system um after this you're going to want to hit enter twice or enter once however you want to do it i like to keep things nice and organized go public and this is where we're going to put our public functions you want to go u function and actually needs to be all caps. Uh, parentheses, uh, you want to put blueprint pure meta. Um, this is just so you can get the display name to be different. Um, just put the meta in there. Uh, if you don't want it, you don't have to, but I put it there because I want it to display with a, a display name. So just like that equals get GPU name. That's what we're gonna call this. And we're gonna wanna go outside of that and put category equals hardware. That's way that way it's under the category. And then from there we want to go static fs string f string. And you're gonna wanna call it get Just like that and then we're again go down here capital u function same thing You don't want to do that. This is a header file. That's just habit. Sorry. <laughs> and go static f string once more and get CPU brand name. Again, just like that. I'm going to control S this. Again, Visual Studio is going to be a little weird with you, and you're not going to be able to tab on stuff. It's going to be rather annoying uh, because, according to Visual Studio, this is uh, this is not compatible. Um, I don't know why this is like this. This is rather annoying to me, personally, um, but it happens, and it's okay, I guess. So we're going to just continue on. So once you get to the CPP file, um, it's just gonna it's just gonna pull it's just gonna include a header file to this header, and this is gonna just have everything already here. So you're gonna be good there. Uh, all you need to do is go down to uh, whatever line you want to start with and uh, type in fs uh, string, not like that f string, my bad, and you, and then your name. So. two uh, colons and get GPU brand name just like that open it up and return F Windows because this is really really only using this for Windows so uh, if you're not on Windows um, you're gonna have to um, you know 
find somewhere else. Uh, misc, so as you can see, I was able to tab there, and you want to do the double quote uh, colons again, and you get GPU, get primary GPU brand, just like that. And then that'll return that. And then we're gonna go again, f string u uh, tutorial. Two colons again, get CPU brand name, open curly brace, and then return f windows platform misc, not that one. And uh, we're gonna get CPU brand. Just like that. And then from here, you'll save it. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this to see if it's gonna turn yellow or not. I don't know if it's going to. I think it should actually. Yeah, it is, we're good. Um, and then you just save everything and you can close out of Visual Studio. Uh, it's gonna upload it and then after that you're gonna want to click compile and it's gonna do its compile thing This may take a minute or two or several minutes um, However long it takes um, It'll just take a second and then once we're done we'll be able to uh, Or it'll compile quickly for me and we'll be able to go back to our nice little thing here and get that so let's get the GPU name now, as you can see, we have a node here now in our blueprinting. We didn't before, now we do. And we can just simply return this and uh, transfer the string to text. And uh, same thing with CPU, we'll get, we'll grab the CPU name real briefly here. We're gonna grab the, we're gonna grab the binding for this. We're gonna call this uh, display CPU name. Again, get CPU under the hardware category and uh, as you can see it is here and even if you go into blueprint um, you could uh, if you don't want to type it in uh, I believe you can just go under one of these tabs here you should be able to find uh, hardware and they the two will be just right under here under a new category because we just made this new category uh, you'll be able to get the CPU name and GPU name and these nice little functions will be available whenever you need them we'll compile this and now we are gonna go to our level blueprint here um, actually, I'm going to make an entirely new level, and this is all saved, and we're going to go to the blueprints. Open the blueprint on begin play. We're going to create a widget. Create the widget, and we are going to grab our nice little widget here. Get graphics device. That sounds like the right one. We're going to go add to viewport. And from there, we'll be able... Let me hit play. Now, as you can see, uh, well, we can see the primary GPU and the CPU, and we can see that the text is there, and um, now it is available for us to uh, to use. So that is pretty cool. And you can also use this for uh, more than just that. Um, if you wanted to check and see, for example, if um, if you want, you know, if uh, your graphics card was an RTX card. Um, we could simply, um, I don't know if we could uh, print string here. Can we? Yes, yeah, we can. So print string, and we can grab a branch, and we'll go ahead and uh, do a nice little event tick. Why not? We'll event tick this. We'll go to this branch, and we'll grab the text. Uh, get a GPU. And we'll grab a uh, two string or two. Yeah, we got a string here, so we're good. Uh, contains right, and we want to check uh, if this contains something. Here we go. Grab that contains. And we'll just check if it contains uh, RTX, right? And if it's true, we'll we'll print uh, true. And if it's false, we'll just simply print false. And now we'll have a nice little event tick here going, and we'll check this. 
and it contains RTX, and that would be a quick way that you can check that if uh, if the graphics card is indeed an RTX card. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment if you have anything to say. Um, if you have any suggestions for another Unreal Engine tutorial that you may want to see, um, put the comment in the description. Also, go check out the Amazing Ball on Steam. I'll have a link in the description for that. And I'll also have a link in the description to the forum page where I've seen this nice little helpful tech uh, code here. And uh, so you can go check that out if you want to. And there's a, there's another place where it has a couple other texts that you might want to take advantage of to make yourself some nodes and uh, the blueprinting. And I'll leave those in the description. And uh, yeah, comment if you have anything to say. Like the video if you like the tutorial and you'd like to see more. And subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.